Today we will be looking at an iPad app called Codable Crafts. This tool combines the basics of digital storytelling and block coding to allow you to create animated projects. In the tool, you will build characters, settings, or scenes and use basic block coding to add in action and conversation. You will have a world of various characters you have created over time. You can access your characters by spinning around. You can also access them or create new characters in your sketchbook. Tap the pencil to get started and select a template from the bank. All of the templates you see will allow you to use your creativity by adding color or objects to customize your character. Tap the pencils at the bottom to select your color. One thing I love is the ability to color outside the lines and the app will correct your coloring for you. To add objects, tap the arrow in the top left. Continue to tap the arrow to get more objects to cycle through. Once you finish, tap the Done button to save your character to your sketchbook. It will take a second to load and then it will prompt you to name your character. It will also place them in the world I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial. Another way to create characters is by using the blank template at the end. Scroll across to find this. This allows you to take a photo of a drawing or an object you want to customize. Once you've taken the photo, you can use the dropper tool to remove your background. I highly recommend putting your object on a solid color background to make this part easier. You will notice you still have your pencils or coloring tools as well as the arrow in the top left to access the bank of objects. Go ahead and use, utilize these tools to customize your character the same way we did before. Again, the arrow in the top right corner will allow you to finish your character. Select Done to save them. Finally, name this character and add them to your world. Once you are back in your world, you will see Storybook in the bottom left. This allows you to access any stories you have already coded and created so you can continue to edit or view them. You can also create blank stories here. Another way to begin a new story is to find the character you want to use in your world. Tap on the character you want to use and select Code. This will take you to a new storybook. Let's look at all the options. First, tap the Scene button at the top to add backgrounds. There are, there are several stock photos here for you to choose from. Simply tap the scene you want to use and hit the check mark to get started. To start building your story and adding code, simply drag the commands down to the bottom workspace. You will notice that some boxes have numbers or text underneath them. You can tap these to adjust the quantity or what the text says. This will help keep your algorithm clean and make your code a little bit easier to follow. Tapping on the blocks will allow you to know what some of the code blocks stand for. One of my favorites for digital storytelling is the speech bubble command. It will allow you to put in custom text to help build conversation in your story. Another great one is the voice record feature. Make sure to explore all the different types of block coding choices to help build your story. The ABC at the top of the page will allow you to add captions or titles. Tap the paint bucket and the letters to customize the color and size of your text. Also, don't forget to drag your text in your character where you want them to be placed on the page, along and along. Tap the green flag to test out your code. 
Tapping the framed picture at the top left will let you see your code and your story full screen. Tap the plus sign on the right hand side to add a new page. On the left, tap the plus sign to add more characters. This will take you back to your sketchbook. Simply choose a character or create a new one that you want to add. Now repeat the process of adding your background. Notice here you also have a blank white background or a camera at the top. This function allows you to make custom backgrounds and not select from the bank of scenes. Tap that plus sign on the left again to add multiple characters to one scene. Notice you have both characters on the page. To add code for a specific character, tap their tile on the left hand side and start dragging down the code that will represent their actions. Toggle between each character to make sure you build in actions for each one. Now tap your flag to test your code. As you continue to work on your story, you notice that there are a couple buttons we haven't talked about. The first is this undo button at the top. Another is the white square. It allows you to add grid lines to help the placement of your characters a little easier. Continue to add scenes, characters, and code until your story is completely built and finished. Now that you are finished with your story, you can exit back by hitting Codable Crafts to your storybook. As always, thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description. Also, we'd love some feedback, so make sure you drop a comment below.